Hi everyone, I'm coming in um, to give you guys a problem just over here. Uh, this is what I call a level 3 problem for completing the square. And what we do is we don't like the a value, we talked about this before, so we factor it out and we're left with f squared minus 2f. And what I do is I only take it out of the front two. And that's what I do, that's how I think it's going to be easiest for me. And then when I do it, I took out a negative 2, right? Out of both of them, double check. Negative 2 times 1, negative 2 times negative 2 is 4. And then now I start bubbling up. And when I bubble up, when I complete the square, we divide by 2. Nothing has changed here. This is all the same the same work now. The perfect C I wish I had for negative 1, negative 1 times negative 1 is going to be plus 1. I add 1 and I minus 1, just like what we did before. But careful, this is all inside the parentheses, okay? Because everything is being surrounded by this negative 2. But we're going to work with that right now. But just to make sure, f squared minus 2f plus 1, that is my perfect square. And we're multiplying that by negative 2. Now this negative 1 has to talk with a 2. The way we do that is we say, hey, isn't negative 1 inside the parentheses of negative 2? So we multiply the negative 2 by negative 1 to kick it out. And that is actually positive 2 in the outside world. So inside the parentheses is negative 1, but we multiply by negative 2 to kick it out. So that's a positive 2, and we're left with a positive 4 on the outside equals 0. Now we're here. Uh, we solve it like we normally do. We get rid of a couple of things as a markup. get rid of a 4, oh, a 1, and the negative 2. And don't forget the squared. We're going to get rid of all this stuff. And we do most of the stuff in pretty much like one step. So we're going to say f, f is equal to, and we're going to write, we move the negative 4 over, so it's going to be negative 4 divided by a negative 2. Then take the square root of that, plus and minus, and then add the 1. Now we can simplify now that now that we've done it. So f is equal to 1 plus and minus. Um, we're going to simplify this to become a positive 2. So plus and minus, uh, just square root of regular 2 because negative negative is a positive, And 4 divided by 2 is 2. Okay. And that's our answer. Now I'm going to write something else that looks, just, just to talk about another example. I think this, I'm going to say 1 half f squared, oh let's use a different letter, why not, call it s squared, um, plus, let's do 4, s minus 5 is equal to 0. Right. So for this problem, same idea, this is level 3, and you get rid of that 1 half, so I'm going to factor out 1 half, it might be kind of lame, but trust me it's going to be easier. I'm going to leave the negative 5 by itself, and the parentheses, after I factor out negative so our positive one half, we are left with s squared plus 8s. Careful, because when I divide out a one half, I'm actually multiplying the 4 by 2. Double check. Half of s squared is half s squared, but half of 8 is the 4 we wanted. So we'll always double check to make the simple problem. Uh, you can make it harder than it really is. And now we can complete the square. Divide by 2. s plus 4, because we always divide our 2 to complete the square. The perfect c I wish I had. 4 squared is plus 16. If I add 16, I need a minus 16 from it. Now, we want always combine the 16 and the 5, but we can't do that because we're stuck inside this house, inside this 1 half parentheses. So we multiply the 1 half by the 16 to kick it out. So 1 half times 16 is negative 8. Combine those together to be negative 13. Equals to 0. Now we can move 13 squared, 4, and 1 half all over in one step, please. Try that. We have 13. Then we're going to get rid of the 1 half, so we're going to multiply this by 2. Then we're going to get rid of the square, so we take the square root of that. And then we're going to minus 4, don't forget the plus and minus. Negative 4 plus and minus the square root of 26.